what we've said uh, in each of the towns that we've met with, uh, town of Fremont, town of Wayland, all of those, is what I will tell you. Um, the pilot um, has been set by Jamie Johnson at Skyda at $5,200 per megawatt. Um, that money is then split pro rata amongst um, the towns based on um, the taxing jurisdiction, uh, on, the, on the split up. I believe that's 22% for the town of Hartsville, give or take. We have also additionally said that we would give a host community agreement to each of the towns um, in which we will build a product. Um, Howard's total compensation, pilot and host community agreement, or pilot depending on which one, was $8,300. Our proposal is to be in that same range. Um, we didn't think that you would take any less than any of the other neighboring towns would, so our proposal is to make up the difference of that pilot and the host community agreement and give up a, a, a host community agreement of about $3,000, give or take, based on whatever the pilot ends up being. Uh, those numbers escalate per year. So that number, that $3,000, it's our intention to enter into that uh, directly with the town. And so therefore, that the town would receive the full amount of that host community benefit. And that would bring up the total benefit to a project to about $4,000 per megawatt. Uh, that is a yearly fee that is to be paid that has an EPCOT. What would bring up the escalation? That would bring the $3,000 from the host community agreement plus the roughly $1,000 from the pilot equals $4,000. Each of those would have an inflation factor going on them per year. 2%. I don't recall what it was and how it, and how it, I actually think it might be more than 2%. Um, I thought it was 3 to be, I I, I, I honestly think it was three. I don't think it was two. I think it was three percent. But I don't calculate numbers very well on the fly. But so think if we put a fifty, if we put fifty megawatts worth of um, wind turbines in the town of Hartsville, then the town would get roughly two hundred thousand dollars per year in the first year um, for that combined host community and pilot agreement. Uh, in addition, and I guess this is timely, uh, you guys are talking about um, fire districts. We pay about thirty-five dollars or $40,000 per year to the Howard Special Use um, District. If we put a project the similar size in Howard, whether you guys have a fire district or not, um, we can make a commitment to do a similar payment. So if we put 50 megawatts, you know, they're at 55-ish, give or take, um, so we would be willing to make a similar, you know, thirty-five to forty thousand dollar contribution to the um, special use district. If you have one, if not, we could just make that committed contribution. If you guys are still on a contract, I don't know all of your, um, you know, I, I only understood about half of what you were saying in terms of um, how you're going to do this going forward. But we would additionally make that commitment to a contribution. Um, for that. So that's kind of the monetary aspect of it. I will say what I've been saying to all of the folks in all of the town board members and the, and the board members in the other word. We will make the same commitments on roads that we did in Howard, which is to do pre and post construction monitoring of roads, um, to, you know, have a construction hall route. Um, you know, any of you that went over to Howard during the construction we posted roads, we kept them on the, the, you know, the certain roads, that sort of thing. Uh, we would do that. So those are kind of, I'm, I'm making it as quick as, because I, I know you guys have a packed house, you have a lot of stuff on here. That's kind of our financial commitment. Um, what I also uh, intend to do is, as we continue to sign up landowners, we will um, you know, come back, update the board, that sort of thing. What I can tell you is, is that you know, so far, uh, you know, I, I know the board put in a, a resolution uh, to the Barron Winds project saying that they didn't support the project. Um, and that's on record with the PSC. I guess from our point of view, we're willing to commit to time, energy, resources, both to develop the project and then move forward once, uh, you know, if the project was, was permitted and constructed. But we need some signals that the town board is interested in that coming by. And one of the things would be 
you know, not having a resolution saying we don't support the Bear Winds project, you know, things like that. So, so I guess what I'm here to say is, here's what we, we, we would hope to do. We would like to work along with the board. Um, although the Article 10 process is different, we still believe it's very important to have the town and the board very involved in the process and work along with you. But if it's truly not something that you want to look at or support or whatever, we'll just, you know, and I've said this before, we'll just kind of shake everybody's hand and say, thank you, we'll go somewhere else. Um, I can tell you that, um, you know, we cleared off space, uh, uh, we cleared off some, some energy and some time because that project's so far advanced, so we have some time to put into this one. But, you know, really, if you guys don't want it and you don't think that wind is good for Hartsville, just tell us and we'll move to a different town or a different area. And so.